Zero on the same team. Three really good characters in this game from what I remember. Um, but Midnight with the Sentinel, Spencer, and Akuma. Alright, gets the grab. Alright, Spencer getting some damage. Ooh, drops a combo. And Magneto, of course, doing Magneto shit, because why wouldn't he? Oh. Here come the lightning loops. Is this gonna be a dead Spent? That's gonna be a dead Spencer. Alright, here comes Sentinel. Gets the super. Alright, no, not gonna go for a TC Infinite. Nice OTG, and that's a dead zero. Magneto is harrowingly close to death, but pops the X Factor, so he's good. Oh, is this gonna be a dead Sentinel? And another soul lost of Magneto. Well, that's going to close the game out. Vicious Q, 1-0. Okay, here we go. Game 2. Alright. Magneto against him started here. All right, DHC, and here come the landing loops. Yet again, dead Spencer. Of course, optimal zoning from zero, because why wouldn't he? I'm just gonna say why wouldn't he for everything that I can't think of. Alright, cancels the X Factor. That's a dead zero. Ooh, alright. Good start here from Midnight. And that's a dead mag. Now, he does still have X Factor, so level 3 X Factor up. Speaking of which. Alright, Midnight has to be very careful. Okay, it gets the combo. Oh, and of course, no chip. Oh, but he does win in the end. Midnight Snack, 1 1. Say what you will about Magneto, but it's so fun just to see him move around the stage. Super into super into super. Oh, but Spencer still gets a bionic arm. Is this a dead? That's a dead zero. And Spencer has not died yet. Congratulations, we did it. That's a dead mag. Okay, midnight snack with the comeback. Bro took game one personally. Up oh, and there's the X Factor. Okay, wait, never mind. Okay, now Spencer's dead. This one took a bit longer.
Ooh, this is a really close game. But in the end, Midnight is going to close out game three. Alright, game four. Alright, the DHC, we're gonna get the lightning loops. Never mind, we're not. But the chip damage does win in the end. Alright. The Mag Magneto assist came in and helped a lot. This could be a dead, this might be a dead sentinel. Here's the lightning loops. Never mind, drops a light, but still wins at the end. No. Oh. This is where Akuma should definitely pop that level 3 X Factor. Oh. This could potentially. Yep. There we go. Game 4 goes to Vicious. Here we go, game five. All right, nice grab from Spencer. Spencer definitely gonna get a bit of damage onto Mag. Ooh, and the snapback into Doom. Drops the combo, gets the bionic arm, pops the X Factor, and that's a dead Doom. Oh, but Vicious pops the X-Factor, he gets both Akuma and Spencer. Is he gonna get the happy? He gets the happy birthday. Ooh, but then the super... misses. Oh, but Sentinel really low on health and doesn't have the X-Factor. That's dead. Game 5 goes to Vicious. Good games, everyone. Good games. I guess. I did not know that. All right. Zenful's team is just so honest, you know? He's playing Point Ryu and throwing fireballs. Like, it just it doesn't get any more real than that. Yep. This is, this is that awkward silence part, because I don't know what to say about what's going on on screen right now. Well, it's something we've seen thousands of times. Our favorite combo, lightning loops. Okay, Ryu goes down. Deadpool's got a double jump to try to defend here. Meme's trying to cross him up on the ground. Alright, nice defense by Zenpool. Gets the random bolo, but misses the confirm. Oh, super. And almost caught both with that super. Oh, he actually blew up Virgil with the bomb there. He's gonna cash out some chip. Oh, I think he tried to super again. Yeah, I think he's trying to cancel so he can get the OTG. If that's what it was. I said that correctly. So Deadpool, uh, oh, Doom, is all, Doom almost died. Yeah, so Zenpool's X Factor 2 is about to run out. Uh, Memes has his full team, but they're bleeding hard. But he can get that back with a good X Factor. It looks like he's just trying to stall for some time right now with this. So again, move. Zenpool playing it patient as well. Alright, so he's gonna go for a chip out and force memes to do something. Okay, nice. That was a smart decision. Alright. 
Now, I said last game we had Benadryl and Black Tar Hair and Virgil. What do you think Pink Virgil would be? Pepto Bismol. There we go. Pepto Bismol Virgil. You got it. All right, so Anchor Deadpool not known to be the strongest anchor, and X Factor's all run out. So I think Memes is gonna close this one out. Or, oh, yeah, no way, this is it. All right, game one goes to Memes. Deadpool's thinking long and hard. All right, game two. He's starting Deadpool this time. I kind of agree with that, you know? Zero's trying to zone you out with projectiles on the screen, and uh, Deadpool can maybe fight back a little better than Ryu can. Yeah, I feel like Deadpool definitely has a lot more options when it comes to projectiles. Yeah. That, you know, Hadouken, Hadouken. Exactly, and Ryu's second uh, leaves, leaves open that DHC. That's probably one of the best things about Ryu. That full screen beam comes out so quick. And he's going to use it right now to clean up the happy birthday. Doom goes uh, down. Zero's almost dead. I thought I was about to chip out Zero, not going to lie. If he had one more bar, he could have forced the X-Factor there, but that's it. Um, Memes gets a nice conversion. A little too far from the corner, though. It just gets Shoryu'd on Wake Up. What game is this? Street Fighter 5. Sneaky cross up from Akuma assist. Two bars. He's gonna get down. One bar. Thanks for the gift sub, Shattercoin. Alright, so Zenpool's tied this up. It's 1 1. Just looking to stabilize in neutral. And you know, you may not think that Ryu assist is, isn't very good, but you know, that fireball moves kind of slow, so you can control a decent amount of space. And like, with Deadpool's teleport, I feel like there's definitely some shenanigans there. It's not the worst. Oh boy, you know what time it is. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Nice. Gets the falling S with Tatsu assist coming down on zero. Optimal. Full extension. Tatsu super. Actually... No more, no more lightning with this game. We did it. That Tatsu super is actually one of the most damaging level ones in the game. Which is weird because it's on Ryu, so you wouldn't think so, but yeah. I did not know that. Because Ryu, I feel like, is definitely one of those characters you don't really see that much played in tournaments. Yeah, that's true. And I feel like that's another thing that's so cool about this game, is just, like, even the lower tier characters have unique, strong stuff. Or even something someone pointed out to me once, is that a lot of characters in this game are stronger than, like, most of the characters in Marvel 2. Like, a lot of, like, the lower, lower tier characters in this game could actually beat the characters in Marvel 2. Like, I don't know how to describe it. I saw it in a fucking Maximilian video. Yeah, no, it's true. Like, there's there's more of an even playing field in Marvel 3. More characters are vi viable. It's not just, like, the top 8 to 10. Yeah. But then again, there's this little thing called X-Factor, which really kind of... <laughs> true. Memes activated his right there to cancel the recovery, get the teleport out faster. Ooh, that was a tricky wild. double cross-up to the same side. Oh. Oh, yep, yeah, that closes out games two. Games two, game two goes to memes. Sample's gotta do a two win streak here. Oh, that's not a good way to start. Just gets opened up by the pizza cutter. Alright, say it with me now. Oh, not yet. <laughs> Alright, now say it. Lightning lose. There it is. This is a complete Love to watch it. game. Okay, actually drops it, but didn't matter too much. I mean, he still he still killed Deadpool. You know, as long as Zenpool has a Shoto on the team, I believe. I feel like he can do this. But he doesn't have just one, he has two. It's 
sniping Doom here. It's actually going to spend another bar, but the missiles come down and interrupt. Alright, but any Doom call here from Memes is going to be risky, because Zenpul could potentially snipe it out with the level 1 Beam Super. And he's going for an attempt there. Catches both, but doesn't have another meter to DHC. A little too far for an X-Factor confirmed, too. Oh, the office tag works out. Only got hit by the Shadow Clone. The Tatsu actually takes Doom out. Zenpul's not taking any chip right now. He's letting Akuma heal up in the back. All right, X-Factor's out. We now return to Toho's Blizzard Adventure. Oh, nice. Nice composure by memes there. He didn't get opened up. So it's still technically doable for Zenpul. He just needs to come in and block and then try to get something started. So far, so good. Uh-oh. Is that a confirm? Uh-oh. Yeah, but he drops it. Oh, it's well, so hard to block. There we go. Game three goes to memes. And he takes the whole set. And here we go. We got D HUD versus Hi I'm Nasty. Or Ola Soy Nasty. Oh, drops the combo. Captain America's gonna come in. Drops his combo. So far, been a lot of projectiles until now. Captain America getting combo. In. Assist. Into the super. And that's a dead Nova. Ooh, but Spencer. We saw our last game, Spencer's really good. Into the super. He's gonna DHC. And that's a dead Schmap and Schmerica. Alright, but here comes Iron Man. Gets the assist. Into the super. Into the DHC. And that's a dead Spencer. Here comes Doom again to level 3 X Factor, getting PTSD the last game. Or the last set, my bad. Gets the OTG, gets the OTG again. Drop the combo. Into the super. But that's the dead Doom and Nasty getting game one. Alright, we're getting game two started. Again, seems to be mainly a projectile fest. Oh, but then, once again, Captain America gets a combo. 
get the assist and into the super here comes Spencer Oops, sorry, microphone issues, but Nasty wins game two. Sorry about that, there's some microphone issues. Alright, Nova gets combo started into Doom. Doom, of course, nothing but, but mainly foot dives into the super, into the DHC. That's gonna be a dead Captain America yet again. I guess a poke. It's the assist into the level three. Is Spencer gonna die from this? Yes, he will. All right, guy from Fortnite one is comboing guy from Fortnite two. Gets the assist. Oh, but drops a combo. Never mind, picks it back up. Into the assist, and that's a dead doom. Oh, but picks him up. Into the X Factor. Into the assist. And that's a dead Nova. And game three, 3 0 clean goes to Nasty. Good game, of course, to everyone. Oh god, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to spectate top tier the video game. Oh, and I guess there we go. Dex Pride and Ulysses. Alright, Ulysses getting a good start. Oh, the Virgil of Blades. Getting combo started from Virgil. Switches into Doom. Gets the assist. And the snapback. Here comes Dead Express, I think there can only be one Virgil player. There's the super. And that's gonna kill. And here comes the other son of Sparta. What's his name? A Chupacabra, Chupacabra or whatever. Alright, getting nice combos from Doom. Oh, but Dante getting a comeback. The OTG into the super. Into the DHC. Are we gonna see some good ass lightning loops? We are. That's a dead doom. But here comes the Virgil I was left standing. Doesn't look like he's gonna stand anymore after this. Yep. Oh, drops the lightning loops. Oh, 
Oh, but he's getting straight back into that. And that's a dead Strider. Virgil, gonna pop that X Factor. Oh, but no, he's not. This could be dead. Yeah, that's dead. Game one goes to Ulysses. That was a really good game one. Here we go, we're getting into game two. Pops blades. Now playing, you know, bullet hell of a video game. I'm playing Toho's Bizarre Adventure, because just like a Toho game, it makes you question your own death perception. Oh, and of course, Virgil doing the Virgil dance. Oh, into the blades. There's so many things that happen at once with Virgil. Oh, it's being a witch. Once again, there can only be one. It's super, that's gonna do a good amount of chip damage. Oh, but in the end, Benadryl Virgil wins. Okay, then we got, you know, a Kukuracha. Ooh, but it looks like that Benadryl overdosed Virgil. He's dead. Alright, into Doom. Drops a combo. Alright, Dante getting something started here. Into the Super... Can't DHC though, but this is gonna kill Doom. Now here comes Zero. Oh, you already know what he's about to do. You already know what's coming. Here comes the Lightning Loops. He doesn't drop it. Game 2 goes to Ulysses. Not looking good for Pride. Into game three. Shoots down the Benadryl Virgil, but he gets his Benadryl swords, as Benadryl users are known to have. Up into the spinning swords. That's our Benadryl needs to sponsor us now because of this. Is Benadryl even green? Wait a minute, hold on. Oh, but I do know he does get this happy birthday. Benadryl, celebrate your birthday. Level 3, X Factor 0. Again, Toho's Bizarre Adventure. Zero's playing Undertale right now, he's not playing Marvel 3. Now it's just who can out projectile who. But Pride out projectiles gets his first game in. Alright, into game four. Mm. 
Swords, but not Benadryl and Dorse this time. Oh, I'm going to get a combo starter from uh, Black Tower Heroine Virgil. Gets TAC, but nothing happens. Here comes the good old Benadryl. And with the power of Benadryl, Zero's dead. But now we got El Nacho's Bel Grande. Into the double trigger. Into the super. Pops the X Factor. Also pops X Factor. We got double X Factor. Ooh, Black Tar kills Benadryl. Well, now you know how to fix that. What the hell am I saying? Just good God. And that's a dead doom. Oh, drops the combo. That could have closed out the game. But there is 15 seconds left on the clock, so Ulysses might have to time out that expired unless he gets a combo. Ooh. No, that's it. Oh, wait. He's going to have to chip him out, isn't he? Oh, but there we go. Game three goes to Ulysses. Good set. That was some good as Marvel. Oh, that wasn't a drop, that was a reset. Oh. Yeah, we, we've done test runs of the other stages. Um, Despite how cool they are, people will still complain regardless. So I, I just, I just made it Bond Wonder, Wonderland only. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a skill issue, Serge. You, you should look into that. Anyways, yeah, we've got um, Morgan versus Morgan right now. But two of the best Morgan players that enter my tournaments. Oh, nice air to confirmed from Rock or from Mothman. Getting punished for the drop combo though. Okay, snap out. Both these players. Um. Oh, I was gonna say both these players play Ami, but I. It's just uh, <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, if you actually look at the rules for my um, tournament, I put Bond Wonderland only now because uh, people complain too much, but um, it is what it is, you know? For the Palace Swap tournaments, um, we, we did pick a lot of stages and it was a lot of fun though too. Nice confirm from Mothman. Alright, this should be a dead doom, if he uh, spends the meter at least. Okay, look, goes for the reset, nice grab. No, definitely people, a lot of people um, complain about the other stages. Abyss. Oh, tries to go for the cross up. All right, gotta be really careful of um, Rock Mode's Madarasu, one of the strongest Amis I've seen. Oh wow! Okay, the slow combo messes it up and gets the punish too. Very smart from Rock Mode.
Yeah, I actually know how to do that metal upa. I was I was probably gonna do that for this setup. So you just press so people just press random select and then just defaults to bottom every single time. It's not a bad idea, Chow Main. Maybe I'll make a graphic with palette cleanser or something. I told you guys the origin of the um, X Factory name, but uh, if you guys don't know, <laughs> it's actually um, Mini Boss. G he gave me he gave me the name uh, X Factory as one of his puns. Rockmo doing a really good um, job of just keeping Mothman's team at bay. Oh my goodness, that could have been a dead Phoenix. No X Factor either. Yeah, Rock Teams is Rock's team is very, very strong played played ultimately. Oh my goodness. Clip by a stray fireball, that's two up for Rock. Return to character select. Yeah, it looks like he's um he's uh, valuing meter gain over um hold star at the moment. Which for Morgan is really good. Well, the mustard Doctor Doom. I have not seen Mothman play Doctor Doom, or maybe I have, but I, it's just been erased from my memory because I, I, I haven't seen him play it lately at all. I think a uh, Doom Ami TAC is um, is still the same whether you go with um, Bloom or Cold Star. But um, yeah, for for Rock's team, um, just having access to meter is very important. But it is a smart counter pick, counter pick from Mothman just to keep uh, Rock a little bit more controlled. Not being able to run away as much because missiles are just inbound at all times. Good movement from uh, uh <laughs> I was gonna say good movement from Rockman avoiding most of the fireballs and then he took like four fireballs to the face. So <laughs> Raw Shadow Blade, okay. Taking out the Morgan. Alright, nice stalling from rock mode. Trying to get um trying to get in right now. Stalling a little bit more, yeah, he's he knows that um Mothman's got the meter. Sorry I took so long, but just like Prostate Cancer, I always come back, hey guys. Hey, no worries, man. Thanks for volunteering today. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I am uh Kevin Ha. I am the um runner of this stream. And I am Super Prime. I'm the guy volunteering uh, for commentary tonight. Yeah, we, we haven't met officially yet, so I, I want to introduce myself to you too. Oh, nice analyzation cube combo. Setting up the shield. Oh, tries to go low. Nice challenge by Rock Mode. Okay, locking him down with uh, Okami Shuffle. Slowing down the pace of the game right now. Yeah, that shield is such a detriment to um, anybody who wants to rush down. Uh, <laughs> Modoc, it's so annoying. Now Mothman puts one up on the board. Looks like the uh, change to Doctor Doom um, actually was a good thing for him. Uh, where are we in bracket right now, by the way? This is the last match of Winner's Quarters, so after this we'll be starting top 8. Oh shit, alright. 
So we're pretty deep into the tournament right now. Hey Isis Era, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so Rock lost that last game. Looks like he's going for um, the Cold Star Assist this time. Pretty smart play by him because um, now... Because uh, now Mothman is forced to play against Cold Star. Since he can't switch his team anymore. Since he's already... Um, it's, it's a game point for Rock. Ooh, very nice. Optimized combos. That's really good to hear, guys, this era. I'm very happy to hear that. A very good lockdown right now from Mothman. Ooh, gets the stray hit, but drops the combo. Raw level 3. I think that was a missed input. That's very unfortunate. Still got quite a bit of meters to spare, though. Here comes Pepto Bismol Doom. Oh, pops the X Factor. Uh, yeah, we we opted out and doing Pasadena rules. Uh, we're we're just at normal Marvel rules now. Sickabus. For the past couple of months, actually, I think. Very unfortunate. Full team versus Morgan with no X Factor. Nice error confirmed, and Rock takes it 3 to 1. Very convincing. Great play. Alright, who's next in bracket? Oh, there we go. Should be the next winner semis. I think it is High Am Nasty versus Escalante. Ooh, that's gonna be good. That should be a really good one. All right, so this is an interesting team from your senpai, Virgil, Dante, Strider. Two really good assists for Point Virgil. Zero gets that early hit. And this is going to hurt a lot if uh, Virgil goes down here, but he rolls out. Keeping him locked down with the round trip glitch. Nice stuff. It's the second time that Virgil has lived now, and he's going to get chipped out. Yeah, so Dante gets access to some good new moves in Devil Trigger, obviously Lightning, and that move. Uh, but he doesn't gain meter while he's in Devil Trigger, so... Yeah, your Senpai just kind of applying the pressure. And it's working out here so far, he's gonna snap Virgil in. Oh, that was a dirty incoming, but it was just barely out of range. And actually finds the low on him. Virgil's gonna go down. Might be able to do it without spending X. We'll see what he values more. Okay, just gonna spend the X, yeah. Keep it safe. Bring Strider in now. Just wants to lock this Doom down. Teleport. That should be it. Nice. Just gets opened up right away. Zero and Doom. So, I would expect your Senpai to spend a couple bars and kill here, which is a good idea, but Meme still has Anchor Virgil with X Factor. So, technically, this isn't even game.
Wow, just finds the open up again. Virgil's not even going to have a chance to X-Factor. Five golden letters. Memes is on the ropes now. He's got to bring this back. Let's see if he's uh, going to switch up his team or just jump back into it. Alright, so Memes just sticking with the same zero team. He's going to have to find a spot where your senpai is going for like a Helmbreaker or something and just try to cross it up. Okay, gets the pickup. Technically dropped right there, but I think he was doing something else, so it worked out. This is the meaty lightning. This Dante has been looking pretty solid. Got the hit and dropped it again. Nice. Crossed up to the other side to avoid the missiles. And he's going to get an incoming setup. Acid rain, cross up. Might be a good idea to bring Virgil in here, yeah. He's going to go for the snap. Activate swords in response. Wow. Helmbreaker from the heavens right there. So he's trying to get some pressure going with the round trip. He's going to catch Dante. It chooses to X-Factor here. Now Strider Anchor is scary. He could come back, but Memes is going to do everything he can to lock him down, not give him a chance. Oh, is that quick enough? No. Didn't teleport in time, but just get catches him with the cross up. Nice, Meme staying alive in the set. Virgil goes down. Nice, Dante defends it. Almost got that confirmed, but not quite. And your senpai's been doing a pretty good job of working around those missiles. It's caught though. Now Memes can choose to kill Dante or Snap. Just Strider. Okay, I think this is gonna be it. Oh, drops it though, but gets the cross up. Gotta love it. Even if zero drops, it's an auto cross up. Drops again. Okay. Your senpai could have X Factor really quick right there, but. Go to 2 2. Damage was pretty scaled there. Couldn't get too much off that. Nice. Gets the throw. Oh, didn't quite have enough swords time to left. This first touch is going to be really essential here for either player. It's working with the missiles. Let's kill on Virgil. Oh, goes for a reset. Snap zero. Interesting. 
Oh, there's a little gap there. Memes had time to hit a button. Alright, Virgil goes down. Gets the air throw on zero, but the missiles are there. He can't follow it up. Missiles being called again. Yeah, and that's tough. Dante doesn't have a quick way to uh, prevent those missiles from coming out. Strider assist might get tagged. It's just going to hard tag Strider in. Oh, it chooses to THC to punish the missiles. But Zero's level 3 just goes through everything. Oh, he got pretty low on health. Probably wanted to sneak an X-Factor in there, but he just got caught. Losing Strider, now Dante just on a pixel. He just gets the confirm with Lightning. He's gonna take the set. All right, stream, I have to play my match. I'll be back later. So Jason's starting Hagar because he wants to go toe to toe the footsies of Captain America. Nasty gets the first touch here. Drops the TST in it though. Wow, really? X Factor 1 almost had the hit. Nasty just comes down with a button. It's enough to kill Hagger. It's his team quarterback. And the open up on Dorm on incoming too. Oh, he air dashed a little too low. He didn't have a minimum air dash height. Time, but whoever sub, thank you. Whoever gifted the sub, thank you. It was Fetus. Thanks, Fetus. Thank, thanks, gay Fetus, or homosexual unborn baby. Alright, so both players just switched their order up. Nasty still has X Factor, so next, next touch, I would expect him to kill. Yeah, here we go. Just goes extremely easy combo, jump H super. So efficient. Oh, he hit both with that crouching L. So it opens up scroll again. I think he's just gonna take some damage here. Yep. Put scroll full screen, but you always gotta look out for that meteor smash. There it was. Jason looked very ready for it. Not that one. And there's the Inferno. Ooh, into the DHC. Wow, nasty taking the first game. Nice from Jason. Cap's a pretty healthy character. I think he has 1 million health, but yeah, it should be enough damage with Chaotic Flame. Oh, just really. Oh, there's Cap. I guess he must have 1050 health. Oh, a little too high. To yeah. Level three. Yeah, so Iron Man, not really a character you want to play on point, but Nasty has been holding his own here. But ideally, I would want him to get Skrull in pretty soon, so he can use the Unibeam assist. 
does not have a second bar to THC. Big pipe. Alright, so, anchor scroll. Jason's just gonna lock it down. The stocking flare. Gets crossed up again by the Meteor Smash. Alright, now he spends one bar. Still has a good amount of X Factor left for the next two. Nice. He whiffed like he was going for the physical hit and then backdashed into command grab. So he actually got the life lead off of that. Magneto still with X Factor though. Next tip pretty much wins. Oh, there yeah. it is. Jason's keeping it extra simple. Game two goes. Oh, um, my was it? it goes to Jason. Sorry, I don't know why that took so long. Nice confirm from the max range shield. The TAC reset, air to ground. Oh my god, this cat. That was almost sick. I think he could have had the kill off that sequence. All right, mock chat. I will be right back. I gotta go do something. All right. gets blown up by the Lariat. Almost goes down, but not quite enough damage. The pillar's gonna do it. And Jason always looks so comfortable playing his team in any order. Seems like the assists and DHCs all pretty much work out. Nice, another Lariat. It's gonna come down to Anchor Scroll again. It's hit by Lariat again. I think Jason can X Factor here. Oh, he jumps straight up though. Gets a little too far. Happy birthday from Skrull. It's definitely gonna X Factor here. Simple combo, one bar. Wow. That is a lot of damage. Another backdash command grab. Yeah, just keep it simple here. Level three. Turns out Anchor Scroll is still pretty good. M Shield from the air catches Hagger. He's going to go again into the TC Infinite. See if he gets it this time. Oh, he missed the jump. Gets thrown. Damage scaling is pretty high here. Let's see what Jason's going to go for. Snap. I'm going to bring in the problem. That scroll. I think uh, Jason's going to have enough damage to kill here for sure. So yeah, Iron Nessie is going to be losing a scroll, but half Iron Man is coming in in a good order. Again, try to defend this incoming and then stabilize. It gets crossed up. Dorm's Flame Carpet actually hits as a low, even if you're in the air, you have to block it low. So that, paired with a teleport, can be really tricky. Nice. Another setup on incoming. Is enough to do it for Jason. Gonna go down to the last game here. Jason lands the first touch, but didn't convert. Nasty same thing, but then he catches two. Just gonna cash out one meter. 
kill Magneto. Now X-Factor, is that going to be enough? He just barely builds the second bar. I think, yeah, spend all the resources you need here. Oh, he leaves Hagger alive. Yeah, I definitely would have just uh, DHC'd to be safe. So Iron Man missing a lot of life, but he's going to heal it all back. Nasty's just got to be careful with how he calls it. And Jason's still with X-Factor, so if he lands one more touch, could be put back in a good situation. Yeah, not quite enough damage here on Nasty's side to finish that. Wow, raw tag and confirm from Jason. It's just going to spend the two bars, I think. Yeah, go into Stalking Flare. It's going to set up a Flame Carpet. Bring Hagger back in for the unblockable. Nasty gets caught. Air dashing out with that charge jump S to keep scroll out. Gonna super, bring Hagger down with the Inferno, and now it's just 1v1. Honest, no X Factor. Wow, cross up standing light. It's just gonna level 3. Really nice stuff to Nasty there. Showing off his scroll as the MVP in the set. Yeah, that was a good set. Alright, here we go, game one. Yeah, so Escalante is starting Morgan. With his team, you can start Morgan or Mag. They're both good, but it looks like with Morgan's start, you probably want the Astral going early. Uh, maybe Escalante wants to control the zero a little bit more in the neutral. But didn't have a chance to activate yet, and gets crossed up by the lightning. Oh boy. I don't even need to say it at this point. Never mind. Drops it. Yeah, I got a green buster there, level 2 1. He's just gonna DHC Magneto in. Stay safe, let Morgan heal up. He has Doom missiles to call in the meantime, but gets sniped out by the buster. Nice. Yuli's staying pretty solid here. He's kept his his life pretty intact until now. And it's a dead hero. Nice, gets the throw off the push block. And Escalante has a choice here. He can TAC and try to kill Dante or he can just snap Virgil. I think snapping is a good call. Reset? Yeah, it goes for the snap. Wants to get rid of this Virgil before he becomes a problem. Simple combo here. Level 3. So Yuli's just going to have Dante to bring this all the way back. It's possible, but Astral Vision on, it's going to be hard to get started. I, I think Yuli's just going to do it. Knowing, knowing how well he plays and knowing the fact that it's El Chupacabra. But never mind, El Chupacabra is dead. Alright, came one Escalante. Nice movement. It's a good thing to do with Morgan. Throw a fireball and dash to the other side. Almost gets to confirm there on zero. We see the Yuli tag from Yuli. Surprised Virgil didn't get hit by those missiles after the teleport. Yeah. Catches Morgan though, he's gonna spend the early X Factor, level 1, try to kill Morgan. Probably thinks that's the biggest problem for Escalante's team. It's reasonable. Yo, no, not yet. Oh, never mind. Kills very Morgan. last hit. Nice. Me personally, if I was if I was have Virgil, I'd be confused on whether or not I was hitting Morgan or like the Astral Vision. Yeah, hard to tell sometimes. Alright, Sword Loop, is it going to be enough? Oh, if he got the, the bait and the Lunar Phase right there, it would have been enough meter. Oh, the Escalante. Pop the X-Factor. 
Wow, he popped it defensively, but just gets grabbed right away before he has a chance to heal at all. Yeah. Alright, damage is going to be really scaled from the prop shredder. He's going to have to go for a reset. But at least he's timing out all this X-Factor time on Doom. That's it. I think he's just going to cash out for as much damage as possible. Alright, DHC. Yeah, Yuli doesn't have to do much. He's just sitting on this life lead. Uh, the pressure's definitely on Escalante to approach in the next 30 seconds. And I agree, you know, in this kind of situation, you don't really want to risk too much. As long as you're in the lead, you only have to do the things necessary to keep that lead. Yeah. At least he's trying to time out Escalante. Oh, get some damage. Nice again. confirm. That should be enough. Game two, Yuli. All right, here we go. Game three. Say what you will about constantly seeing characters like Mag, Zero, and Morgan, like, all the time. But it's just fun to see just a bunch of shit happening on screen. Like, I don't know what it is. Yeah, you can definitely appreciate the top tiers, because, you know, they have so many options. There's a lot of chip on Yuli from the Astral. Escalante's out of bar now. Just sitting on the life lead, and he's putting those slow soul drains on the ground to discourage uh, Yuli from hard tagging or approaching. There it is. Virgil comes out, loses two thirds of a bar. The sword's coming in now. Gets hit out by the missiles. Galante's keeping Virgil locked down here in the corner. Teleport's out. Ooh, gonna do a lot of damage on Doom. Escalante's still in a good spot though. He's got an Astral activated. Yeah, Virgil went a little too ham. Now Yuli's completely out of bar after those soul drains. It's going to be hard to mount this comeback. He's going to have to find one opening opportunity. Is the killer B doesn't work out. There goes El... I can't think of a word in Spanish. Damn it. Shockwave Astral. Such a good DHC. Ooh, there we go. That closes out game three. Yuli's on the ropes. It's the grab on zero. Gonna build so much bar and builds even more with harmonizer assist. It's just gonna level three, kill zero. Can't disagree with that. Just sits there. No combo, combo. Shockwave Astral. Escalante is doing a good job of covering all these angles. You'll lose finding it hard to teleport. He catches both. Happy birthday. Easy combo. Game three, Escalante. That's going to close out the set. And the tea bag. Wow. Disrespectful.
I have a feeling we'll see Yuli's revenge later. Of course the fucking Goofy beating his meat <laughs> is 69. Oh, nice counter. Oh, does not get the confirm though. But what a way to start off the round. Another? Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. There's the confirm. Goes for the TC. Very smart. TC infinite. Nice variation. Oh, drops the combo though. Oh, overlay. Overlay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. Yeah, you can see how much stuff I'm juggling when I forgot to turn on the stream overlay. <laughs> Dream is naked. Hey, it's, we, I still had the lower thirds on, okay? Give me some credit. Yeah, but like, nobody nobody wants to see the stream's nipples, bro. <laughs> oh, almost the optimized confirm with the missiles in the air-to-air the -air confirm. Wow, music card catches him on the uh, projectile counter. Uh, yeah, I think you need to refresh Eternal Yoshi, but if stream is frozen, then you can't hear me saying this. Right, X Factor taking out the Dr. Doom. Still got Morgan in the back, but I don't know um, how strong Rock's Morgan is as Anchor. And I, w I won't know until, uh,. <laughs> Until that, that combo drops right there. Alright, show me what you got, Rock. No more X-Factor, unfortunately, so this is going to be a, an uphill battle for sure. Yeah, I just realized that, uh, uh, I forgot to mention that Memes also uses Zero, too. But yeah, early oh. on in the tournament, it was mainly nothing but lightning loops. Yeah, Zero's a pretty popular character. He's just very strong, so um, a lot of players use him to their advantage. I forgot to update the scores. Sorry, guys. I'm all over the place. And Rock is 4-0. <laughs> and he's actually one of the um, best characters to just run away. Look how far he is up on the screen. <laughs> Just Holy those missiles shit. chasing him. Looks so funny. Yeah, very smart from Rock Mode to be using those missiles just to get higher on the screen for the runaway. Uh, if she gets hit by missiles in the air on Buko Key, she can uh, her air actions get reset, so she can do the um, the headbutts in the air again. Sorry, I'm getting excited because I also play Amaterasu. Rusty Shackleford was also a really strong uh, Amaterasu player, yes. Alright, that's the dead Morgan. Yeah, all all uh, Rock needs is one hit. Oh, there's the there's a team super follow my lead. Who gets the follow up? Yeah, one of the strongest team supers in the game. Arguably the strongest, too. Nice punish on the uh, Virgil assist right there from Rock. Oh, gets foot, do foot dope for his trouble troubles, though. Super after super after super. A yeah, normal speed Virgil, a slightly slower Virgil. Oh no! Tries to go for the X Factor punish. Oh, the MVCI mod, Fruity Fetus. Yeah.
Alright, Mason Cry not finishing his food either. Now the player uh, getting the TAC infinites. Slapping on the Gucci belt. Is he gonna chip him out? Yes, he does. And one of the benefits of having uh, Virgil with missiles is a very oppressive um, lockdown. Project L is the League of Legends, um, the Riot fighting game. Pretty feed us. And it looks, my eye just added, it looks really good. Oh god, definitely not a BB tag sequel. Fuck no. I mean, it's definitely got uh, elements from like a bunch of fighting games in it. So uh, you can see yeah. a lot of elements of BB tag, MCI, um, Tatsuno versus Capcom with the burst mechanic. So it's, it's, it looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. It looks fun, right? I just don't want to be reminded that BB tag exists. You love Arcane? Well, uh, <laughs> you're in luck because Jinx, Jinx and Echo from Arcane are going, going to be in Project L. Yeah, I'll fix it after the tournament waves. Um, uh, I'll, I'll also ask Yuli to not play this color anymore. The the it's the Sogenmu glitch TBT for the color expansion. Yoshi fixed it a while ago, but I I don't think I updated on the server yet. So that's that's my bad. Or sorry, not Yuli. Um, I I think Yuli was picking a color that was doing that earlier too. But yeah, Muse may cry. Yeah, it might only be memes then. I, I might have been mistaken. Holy moly, that was such a such a great confirm. That's a that's a dead doom. Yeah, all he needs is one more hit in the Virgil. Woo! <laughs> Wait. Oh god. Well, there goes. <laughs> there goes Rock. Two one. Yeah, League of Legends has a very expansive roster, so we'll definitely be seeing a lot of characters for the Project L fighting game. Well, a lot of uh, a lot of variety they can pick from. All right, sorry guys, I need to be right back. Um, yeah, give me a sec. Alright. Hi chat. It's me, Super Friend. A person that exists. I don't know how to commentate Marvel that well. But I'm just gonna say whatever the fuck's happening on screen. Virtual on screen on screen on screen. Fuck. <laughs> Alright. Virgil's dead. Straight back into the bullet hell.
Alright, that's a dead zero. Oh. Memes pop the X Factor. Oh. Drops the combo on, on Amy. Ooh, nice grab from memes. That's dead Morgan. Ooh, the rock looking to time out memes. Or just chip him out. Alright, game two goes to rock. Alright, we return to character select. Jack Black and Bowser was perfect. Yes, it was. And I'll say from the trailer, um, if we don't get like a scene of fucking Bowser singing, because you know, like Jack Black sings and like he's in Tenacious D and shit, that's a, a missed opportunity. I changed the costume to the ultimate armor of X, which looks great, by the way. Who drops combo? Unless, of course, I'm on again. Was that a Rathalos Zero? Yeah, it's from uh, the Halloween mod pack. Alright, got some snap back. Here comes Fucked Up Abysmal Virgil. Cause I guess I'm just naming any color some sort of like substance, I don't fucking know. Alright, more swords. Hidden missiles are out. Into the DHC. Ooh, but Morgan almost chipping out Virgil. Oh, never mind. It's a confirm. That's the dead Morgan. I got Doom. That's the dead Doom, never mind. He had Doom. But it looks like memes is gonna take this next game. Oh, um, 
I don't know if many people downloaded this because it's still stuck in game banana. But uh, I play like MVC2 Sentinel from Palette Swap. Uh, MVCI Dante. Uh, like that one modern move server just feels like MVCI. It's really fun. And then I'll switch between like Batsu or Cyclops. Ah, I see. Um, I unfortunately don't have the MVCI Dante installed because we already have um, uh, DMC1 Dante from Tab's um, Palace Swap Pack. So it is a little bit of conflict of interest. Yeah. Uh, yes, Magic Pixel Mexican, it is happening tomorrow. Uh, also, thank you Magic Sherpa for the five gifted subs. Hope you're doing well, man. Really appreciate it. Yeah, Escalante versus Hyam Nasty. Uh, it looks like Hyam Nasty is playing from NorCal because he's only got 6 MS compared to um, Escalante from uh, New York, which is 70 MS. Quite a uh, disparity in um, connection. But, um, you know, Escalante still makes it work. He's a very strong player. It, it doesn't look like he lets the lag affect him too much. Just uh, loves the game and keeps. he's been playing for so long. And it really shows in the way he plays, too. Okay, using the missiles to his advantage. Playing quite a, a bit of a rush down Morgan right now. Very interesting. Goes for the snap. I think he's snapping in the super scroll. Oh no, Iron Man just comes out. Ooh, very, very good um, oh. spacing on that um, jumping S right there. Okay, getting the full confirm. Oh, it drops a combo. Invincible super. Forces the X-Factor. Oh, goes That's for that overhead. Crazy, yeah. Right, here comes a guy for Fortnite. Yeah, this is a huge uphill battle for Iron Man. Iron Man can actually fight Morgan pretty well because of his Repulsor Blast. It uh, is very good at clearing the screen projectiles, but it doesn't look like he was able to get anything off there because, you know, Iron Man versus three characters is a huge losing battle for him, being one of the um, lowest tier characters in the game. Yeah, this is Marvel 2, sadly. So, yeah, we don't got we don't got there. those uh, fucking infinites, you know. <laughs> nah, we don't got no motherfucking infinites in this game. Oh, nice grab! No follow up though. Doesn't look like he had any um assist available for him to actually pick that up. Oh my fucking god! You know what I just thought of? What's that? You know how we have uh, Marvel 2 Sentinel because of mods? Yes. Marvel 2 Iron Man. I think somebody was, uh, I think uh, Tabs, the creator of MVC2 uh, Sentinel, was actually thinking about doing MVC2 Storm. Um, oh, I don't know if he has oh. any interest in doing MVC2 Iron Man. I, I don't think he, he, I don't think he'll have any interest in doing MVC2 anybody. Because I feel like, okay, Sen Sentinel happened, we came, we saw. Well, like, like I said, he, he wanted to do Storm, but um, I, I don't think it was that much different from regular Storm. Uh, uh, Besides the the floating, so he didn't he opted not to do it. Yeah. But no, MVC two seven was like really good to the point where he had to like like that he nerfed him to the point where you can't even TAC out with MVC two seven. Uh, is is that what it was? I don't re I don't actually remember his patch notes. Yeah, one of the patch notes was. Like if you if you have uh, Marvel Two Sentinel on your team, and like if you're any other character, uh, you're playing as any other character in your team, you can like TAC into him, but he can't TAC into anyone else. So okay, okay, that's yeah. that's actually a pretty good palace, uh, pretty good pal balance change. Yeah. All right, but we can save that mod talk for tomorrow because we're doing some uh, Marvel normal Marvel Three right now. Sorry, it just it just crossed my brain. So I think no I'm worries, I, I understand guys. the excitement. I understand. It's like I want to see motherfucking infinites in Marvel Three. All right. Two zero Escalante. All right. It looks like uh, Haim Nasty is going back to character select. Just to take a quick breather for the match. You know, not a bad idea to do once you're uh, down down on the ropes. Let's see, let's see if he can make anything happen for this match. Oh my goodness, falling light. Could have been a full confirm. I don't think he believed in that hit though. Yeah, this is a pretty rough matchup. Nice, uh, nice challenge on that um, that flight mode right there. 
Good air air confirmed from Escalante. Locking him down with the meaty. Oh, watch your toes. Very nice. X Factor confirmed X -Factor. to yeah to uh, kill kill off his anchor. Looks like he thinks Super Scroll is one of the main factors of this team. Take out the problem. Activating Astral. Now he's got the lockdown. Yeah, very rough for Iron Man. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yikes. The flight flight mode incident overhead on the um on the wake up. Very smart. Alright, she may not have Astral Vision, but definitely has a meter for more Astral Vision. Oh nice air to air confirm from Escalante. Drops the combo right at the last moment. But this is going to be a huge uphill battle for Captain America. He's going to have to make something work. Looks like he's going to go for the X-Factor. Morgan, a little, her hitbox a little bit too short. There's a charging star. Oh, wow. No punish it's from Escalante. This could be a dead Morgan. Yeah, definitely. Oh, wow. The cross-up dead body glitch. Or a corpse hop. Sorry, not a glitch. Nice grab. Gonna be very close to death. Hey, D seems to Doctor Doom just for safety. Yep. Very smart. Oh. Oh, that should have been a level three right there. Nice air to air confirmed from Hyam Nasty, but just dropping it right at the last second. Tournament nerves are probably on the line right now. Wow, oh, right through the Android. cracks! Oh. Magneto, Magnus, Magnum condoms, he's dead. Hey, and this this is looking very good for Haim Nasty, actually. Actually fights Doom reasonably well with his shield slash. But you know, just that upper echelon of the of the stage is really hard for Captain America to get up there. That's nice, close it out. yeah, nice um, crouching, like just to close out the whole round. And Escalante takes it 3-0. Escalante moving on to winner's final now. Next match is going to be Rock versus Memes May Cry. You do not come into my home. <laughs> and shit on my floor, okay? Hey, I never said the anime was good, ca Cameo. I highly recommend the manga. Okay. Yo, if One Piece is so good, why don't they just go to KFC and get a three-piece for, like, fucking two ninety nine, bro? Doesn't make any sense. Oh, was it? A two-piece? It's like a, a leg and thigh combo. Looks like we might have a special guest. Uh, Hi, I'm Nasty. Says he's down to join the mics too. Hello, what's up, everybody? Hey, what's up, man? Welcome to the commentary. Welcome to the ones and twos. Oh, the ones and twos. And speaking of ones and twos, we got game one over already. Yeah, so first game going to Mothman. Very strong player. How are you doing, by the way, man? Making some waves in this tournament with your six <laughs> MS right from the servers too. Uh, yeah, <laughs> right in the server room. Yeah, I'm playing right right next to the to the machines. Yeah, I'm glad you started joining the tournaments recently. Um, you, you're providing a lot of uh, character variety, which is really good for um, the spectators. And yeah, it's you always can... yeah, it's always fun watching you play too. You, thank you. Uh, you call thank uh, Sunroots. He keeps begging me to play. Oh, okay, cool, cool. He's uh, one of your homies, I assume. Yeah, yeah. He's um, 
uh, uh, pretty much a local player here. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, so uh, back at it with the uh, Mothman. Now he's going for the TCO, then he gets broken. And he's gonna fight with Phoenix, gets hit. Well, that's gonna get him to that's transform. Get there. They guaranteed dark. And he's gonna fight with the level two. Nice punish on the Strider assist, too. Yeah, he's gonna have. Oh, no. Oh, he still got it. Oh, no, no. Drops it. Very messy marble right now. Oh, no, I get the Gucci belt. He's gonna go right through it? No, he just wants to get him out of there. Still with the X Factor activation to avoid chip. Gets hit by Vajra. Now it gets a full super, but not enough damage. Spawn weight box. And then the, the mash and jabs just gets him right on the wake up. It, you definitely came in at like the opportune time. Everything's just happening right now. It's very crazy. Oh, just a hit. Oh, no. Okay, it gets the tag out. Oh, it gets the hit on Phoenix? All right. Now we just got to get one more hit. Oh, no. He was <laughs> calling in the satellite. Just uh, on incoming, just S immediately. Got a lot of just stray hits, and this almost killed him. And he's gonna chip him out. Yeah, there's nothing we can do here. Now you gotta deal with this for like maybe 10 more seconds. And yeah, he's already. Oh no! Oh, he got rid of most of them with the tornado. I don't know what that move was called. I just called that. Oh, shock oh pressure. I know that one. Oh, got him with the stand medium. That's a stinger to finish it off. Right now, uh, tied 1 1. Uh, also, anybody in chat, let me know if you wanna get into commentary too. I am, uh. I am struggling right now because I've been just running this tournament from the beginning. But yeah, I would really appreciate it too. Alright, we get hit. Happy birthday with the jam session, but it's only able to get one hit on Modok. But Modok comes back with the hit. Now we got a full combo going. He's gonna burn some meter. Go for the, the loops here. Oh no, oh, he's gonna go right to DC. Okay. Oh, okay. Optimal a follow up thing. Tag back in the Modoc. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, they keep low, uh, push locked it and then just went back to low. All right. Snap in the, the Phoenix. The Phoenix. Yeah, yeah. Smart. Very okay. Smart. Oh, gets the hit. Oh, there it is. Again. Oh, there we go. There we go. Simple stuff. That's all you gotta do. All right. Mix up on Morgan. Okay. Let's just <laughs> jump fast. Right. The beats everything. Uh, that's twice in a row where we've seen it just beat beat out just any incoming. And then it's, it's got to press it. Okay, now we got to deal with all this. And he's got two, oh, about to get three meters, so he's got a lot of meter to play with here. And he's got a good uh, fireball assist. Like, you know, Modoc's uh, Sonic Buster's not to be, uh, you know, trifle with. Oh, he gets the... Okay, he had to hit there. He just didn't follow up. He just wasn't sure. Beach ball going through that. Oh. Now we're going back to sisters. All right, we got two meters to play with this, but we do have a, a Strider with X Factor and three meters at least on deck. It's about to get five. There's another one. Oh, and he gets the punishing activation. There we go. Here's the mix up. What's the mix? Oh, <laughs> got him with the, the cross of Vajra. Or just like it was like a body hop launcher. Nice rat. Two to one. Tempai up. All right. We got some. Oh, okay. I was saying we got some neutral going with two uh, characters going out. But then obviously we got Virgil just pressing buttons and we got a hit on Phoenix. Oh, shit. There we go. He, he had the X Factor to get that extension, but it was worth it. We got the problem out. Now we got a hit on, on Morgan, and he's gonna get the extension. This is a good X Factor. Everything's going great right now. Oh, but he didn't get the Vajra hit. Oh, no. Oh, he got the hit? Oh, but he didn't cover off it. Oh, no way. He just barely got the hit from that jam session. Oh, my God. So we now have a Modoc, level 3 Modoc. Uh, not sure how crazy it's gonna be, but we got another hit. You know, it's it's really hard to get away from this team. And you gotta block all this. And it gets the throw. You gonna get a follow up? There we go. This should be dead. You don't have to really do anything that, that hard. Oh, 
Yeah, like I say, you're not doing anything that hard, but <laughs> go for the loops. And then just get yeah. Oh, what? No way. Oh, no. x match is out. No way. He's gonna try, though. Oh, oh, what? Oh, my God. The instant overhead right before you hit the ground. No way. What is this? What, what are we doing here? Oh, uh, put the bomb out. The Dorito. Oh, no! Get the, get the conversion. There we go. Get some G. Make him smarter. Another mix. The meaty. Giant Doritos. The Dorito Pups. Oh, like those 3D ones. Some of the ones from the 90s. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, no, you can't get hit by anything. Oh, my God. And this, I don't know. What was that? Satellite? Or, or what are those? The things got him, but he got chipped, man. That sucks. You didn't even see it, too. But, yeah, that's... That goes to Senpai. 3-1. to one. Uh, All right, well, I guess we're going to reset. All right, here, here comes the pipe, man. Into the aura aura. I hear some Magneto. Oh, the snap back into Kuma. Gets the grab and gets the OCG. Kuma gonna do a lot of damage here. Gets the OTG again. And that's a dead mag. Agent review, X Factor. Flying press, X Factor. Alright, the DHC for Mamu. Good, good move. And that's a dead Ryu. Set the super. Ooh, it lands. Game one goes to Jason. Right, that was a very quick game too. And just like that on the game three.
the DHC. Oh, yeah, I just realized I had to commentate. Fuck. <laughs> um. All right, Magneto doing Magneto stuff. Yeah, death is dead. The dead Magneto. Ooh, but that's gonna see the deal. Game three goes to Zenful. Game four. That's a sister of Akuma. Drops a combo. Oh, that's a dead Hagar. This is super, he's gonna DHC. And he's gonna kill. All right, I'm uh, back, guys. All right, you need a quick break. Uh, <laughs> doing a little too much. Running the stream, running brackets. Yeah, huge shout-outs to Super Prime for um, helping commentate tonight. Yeah, no, is... thanks for having me on here, man. Uh, yeah. this, this, this is fun. I hope I didn't make people cringe too bad. Um, I mean, there's always bound to be a little bit of cringe, but, you know... <laughs> Yeah. The first time, uh, first time is is okay. It's fine. You'll get better with time, as long as you um, are passionate and you keep wanting to do it. Yeah, I mean, it's, I was gonna say it's okay to be cringe. Then the, I just remembered the fucking goofy sixty nine, like yep. bits. My my stream is pretty yeah. cringe, like like uh just in general. So you're good, man. <laughs> no worries all right. at all. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna look up, this is the last game. I'm just gonna commentate this last game, and I'll hop off. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. All right. When it comes to this matchup, Deadpool is definitely gonna win when it, against Hagar because of all the zoning. Yeah, De Deadpool has a winning matchup um, with uh, against Hagar and or Mamu, but the way Jason Kiddo's plays is very oppressive. So, yeah. Deadpool is gonna have to get around that too. Yeah, Jason's Dormammu is an absolute beast. Literal Terminator, is that all you talk about, bro? I will not have One Piece Lander in my in my stream anymore. <laughs> Next time I see it, it will be on site. Uh, next next time there will be One Piece uh, Slander. Kevin will walk up to your house and pop a cap in your knee. So be careful. <laughs> he's, he's gonna he's gonna do it for Nico or. Whoever the fuck, like, people sent for in one piece. I warn you, do not unban him either, because I did warn him. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's get back to the match. Oh, tries to go for the overhead. Nice. Oh, <laughs> oh no, Zenpool just did the... Uh... Yeah, he, that was it. That was it. Good stuff from Jason Ghetto. 3-2. So, so... Yeah, Fantastic Four scroll looks really cool. Oh, charging star at the start. Wow, very nice charging star with the um, Iron Man Unibeam assist. Getting a full confirmation off of that. Wow, getting a lot of mileage right now off the Unibeam. Oh, dropping both his kill combos. Oh my goodness, the staggered low. Very nice. No meter needed. Sitting on a cool three bars right now. Like I said before, that Unibeam is doing so much work right now.
Right into the Proton Cannon. Very nice all the way through. Okay, keeping in uh, Super Scroll. Wow, guess the cross up jumping us. Good grab from your senpai. Should be a dead Super Scroll if he does not drop this combo. Well, there's the Vajra into the, um, or the teleport into the overhead. I'm nasty being a little bit more defensive, but not defensive enough. Got some miracles down. Now Iron Man's the last one standing. Gets grabbed for his troubles once again. Shara's gonna have to hit him like 40 times for him to kill. It's actually not a bad matchup. I was just going to say it's not a bad matchup for Iron Man because he does have that Repulsor Blast. Does miss the, the level 3, but still clips him with the low and takes the first round. Pulsar Blast really good against Strider's teleport slash Vajra attempts. Alright, your Senpai getting the first hit, drops his combo. He's gonna have to eat a mix up, there's a the throw. Very nice, this is going to be an X Factor for the kill. Oh, barely doesn't kill, but Repulsor Blast finishes it off. Very nice. A Liberal Terminator was only timed out for 10 minutes. He's back. Hey, what's up, Priest? Oh, almost good air to air confirm. A little bit too far for that to uh, combo correctly. Ow, he just whiffed crouching medium into a crouching light full confirm. Nice optimization with the combos. Uh, unprovoked One Piece slander, and then I warned him if he if I see him slander it one more time, I would time him out, and then he immediately slandered it. So I was just like, okay. Freedom of speech is not freedom from consequence. That's why. <laughs> yeah, this might be a case of character unfamiliarity. Your senpai um, getting right up into Hi I'm Nasty's face, but he's ready for it. Like I said, I never said the anime was good. I just think One Piece as a series is really good. The manga is uh, peak, in my opinion. But yeah, I'm not trying to watch like fucking five minute recaps and a, and a two minute intro before actually watching the anime. <laughs> so I just read the manga. And he was back to the match. Wow, okay, gets clipped by the meaty tiger. And also the meaty Vajra. Ooh, I'm nasty, he's gotta be careful now. Oh wow, Rodra right in his face. Ragnarok to seal the deal. Very nice. Puts one up on the board. We'll optimize combos here. Barely not going to kill again, but he's going to do the, uh... Okay. Very nice. Do you see his safety this time? Good grab punish. 
Oh, almost gets the jab pun the jab confirmed too. There we go. Very nice repulsor. A little bit too much hit stun there. Okay, Iron Man goes down. Tries to do a meeting incoming. No dice. A raw super full screen just to dig into Virgil's sword safely. Very smart. Oh, is he gonna clip the Strider too? Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, but he's gonna cl get clipped by swords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Iron Man adds a lot of value as an assist character, definitely. A raw rolling hook, very nice. Falling normals, kills the Dante. Alright, tries to go for the body hop cross up. A little bit too early, uh, too late on that uh, that um exchange there. So now your senpai is going to take out the Captain America too. Uh, this is first to three's werewolf. We haven't done Pasadena rules for like maybe half a year now. All right, and your senpai. Two two. Snaps out the super scroll. Hey, cousin Vin, thanks for the 63 months. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, B Blue. Yeah, that is correct. No more East Coast tournament either because um, I just I literally couldn't juggle them. <laughs> it was too much for me to handle. Werewolf boy, thanks for gifting us up to evasion. Appreciate it. Uh, he's pinging you because you said Iron Man is a good character if you don't have to play him, and then he said, you mean play against him, right? Because he's, he's saying that Iron Man is a good character, which he isn't. Iron Man is one of the lowest tiers in this game. Uh, there are definitely players that play Iron Man that are really good with him, but that doesn't, ex that doesn't um, excuse the fact that he's still one of the lowest tier characters in the game. Final Justice. Ball in. Hi, I'm Nasty taking it. 3 2 over your senpai. Nice clean play. Moving on to Loser's Semis now. Yeah, I'm sorry if my commentary is mostly just like a mixture of talking to stream chat and like. <laughs> talking about what's happening it's in my the end, game I don't too. have sound. Whoops. Alright, I guess we're going right into it. We got uh, Jason Kill on the left. Rock Mode on the right. Gets the hit on the first uh, open gambit here. And we're going for the TC. Let's go for those. Gets the optometer damage, and then we're gonna get the kill right into sisters and coming. 
gets a cross up. Jump, <laughs> jump, jump past the god for Morgan right now, right? Okay, another TC. We're gonna get. Oh, we'll begin. Oh no, no, just drops right there. Unless she was. All right, you, you never know, right? It's just <laughs> it's either execution error or it's just oh, what happened there? We'll call everything a, a setup. We're, we're at. We're so far in the bracket. Everything should be intentional. All right, so we get get Das Pipus. Oh, and the, the trade hit off the missiles. You know that that, that still works in his favor, but unfortunately. Gets the X-Factor and then gets hit right after. And then it comes back with another hit. It's gonna get to kill Morgan. So now the X-Factor is worth it. So we got this left, right, all right. Now this mismatch is terrible, man. Doesn't matter, he's dead. Put the carpet on him. Setting up. Left, right. Oh, it gets hit by the Larry. Conversion. Won't be able to kill. Get the full screen, put a pillar out. Oh no, he didn't go for pillar, he went for mix up and gets the cross of kill. It didn't get a chance to X Factor. Game one goes to Jason. Taking a second to think about it. The porting dorm to FBI. Shouldn't it be uh, SPCA? Oh, we got something going on here. We're having some uh, slowdown on uh, Roxanne. He's going to have to reconnect. Yeah, that, that first round went like both in, in each each other's favor because they either d did something like x factor or had to hit and then let go of it so it was it was anybody's round because they kept switching momentum back and forth just gonna wait till uh Everything's back to normal with uh, with Rock's uh, settings. Yeah, if you didn't know, like Rock's right next to me. He's playing in the server room with me. In case you guys are wondering. Isis gets three mess? Oh my god. <laughs> She's literally playing in the router. Yeah. But we're, we're outside the router. We're playing on top of it. But she's inside it. Alright, so it looks like everything's back to normal. Let's hope so. Uh, it's getting a lot of chip damage on Mag. Just gonna try to stall off the timer. Hits the raw tag, gets a couple hits, and oh man, and now conversion off the uh, wake up there. Okay, it backs him off. Didn't really gonna get much off it. It's gonna get. Uh, is that gonna, gonna get a punish there? A little bit. Maybe we get a trade hit. I know that super is like so much in full on it. I'm best to God. They're there. Uh, pff, jump S the God. Oh, and then breaks the TC, I guess. Or oh, we'll be mashing, who knows, man. Oh, this is uh, Dark Matter. Is that Dark, what is that move? Is that Dark Matter? What do he throws the little thing forward, forward heavy? I don't play Dorn. Uh, that got stuffed by a missile. All right, Rock Tag back into uh, Hagger, and now he's gotta deal with more fireballs, but you know, he's, he's a beefy motherfucker. So he can take at least like a, uh, a full onslaught of them from chip damage, but got hit by a couple of them. You know, they hurt more when you take him to the face, right? 
Yeah, this is looking rough right now. Oh, okay, get up down. There we go. We got something going here. It's the kill. All right. What are we doing here? All right, gets across an S. Still not X factoring. Thirty seconds on timer. Uh, this, this match is not bad, so he could probably get a lot of mileage without having to burn it. And he almost lost there. <laughs> okay, now you made him burn X factor. He's gonna smack him, but you're gonna trade it. Oh no, it was too much damage. Damn. Maybe you, you try to save the X factor. I know what you're trying to do. He's trying to save the X factor, make it last longer than uh, getting through Doom, but. Anyway, so we're back to 1-1. Getting this momentum going with the fireballs. Missiles coming in. I got back to more fireballs. But he, see, Rock's doing really good at, at keeping the screen filled, even without the sisters on, on the on the screen as well. And then Rock, oh, Rock attacks the hacker and almost got a conversion off that. All right, we got the throw, but nothing going to come off this. Oh, no, no, he, he got the, the weird knockdown. I'm not a hacker player, so I don't know how that how that works. But then again, we got an X Factor. We're gonna get rid of this character. This character's just been terrorizing this team. All right, so we still got a meaty on deck. We got the low. We're gonna go for the mix up here. Oh man, you're gonna have to take that. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we're gonna go for super. Mash that hella hard. He can do he can do ball super, still kill and he'll have a meaty. There we go. Carpet. <laughs> I should be a hacker drum player. <laughs> oh, here we go. Now Amy's got some baby health, so I don't I don't think this this is gonna have to matter with the scaling. It should be able to still die. Oh I did, did There we go, okay. He did it really fast. Usually people let him like you know fly in the air and then come back down. But yeah, that's that was a good um, combo to get the kill. Now we're up uh, two to one with Jason Kiddo on game point. Back to neutral. Here we go. Sisters are out. He's stalling the timer. He's doing really good at avoiding it, and he's even getting hits on her with the magnetic blast. There you go. Just, just make her waste that meter. Playing him like Akuma, just you know, throwing fireballs, checking, checking plasma. Oh, I get the missiles there. See, I can't, I can't hear, so I can't tell where the missiles are. You ever, you know what sucks? Have you played this game without sound, and you playing with someone playing missiles? That's pretty, it's pretty scummy. Can't hear the missiles coming, and you're like, oh, it's my turn to attack. Nope, missiles are still coming. But yet, only the player playing missiles knows it's coming. All right, we're getting power-ups. Uh, both people, both players don't meter, but we got like maybe five seconds left. Okay, yeah, it's just gonna stall more time. He's gonna come, oh, okay, try to come down with something. Oh no, gets hit by straight fireballs. Gets out of it. I think the missile probably ruined it. Throws the meteors, spending all of the, everything. Oh my God, got the hit with that jump. Das pipe was, he's gonna go for the side. Oh yeah, I mean, he should've just, block right I mean it's not like he's gonna cross you up from the left side right nice and one more for good measure there we go oh hell no God, I saw it I saw it too because as soon as the x-factor I saw the swing coming oh my god he got sucked in the face punching dogs out here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this team ship right there. That's it. There you go, Jason Kiddo with the three to one victory. He got plumped. <laughs> yeah. I play him on a side team, and um, I have a lot of modded colors that I I, I I just put so many mods in this game for Iron Man specifically. 
Just because I'm I'm just an Iron Man fanboy. Spending time going through all the colors, and then uh, I guess that that weird they call it, someone call it bubblegum Iron Man. I like that one. Bubblegum or minty fresh? Yeah. Yeah, hey, minty fresh sounds. Yeah. Is that name of a Marvel player? Um, um, maybe think of someone else. Uh, I, I think there's. Of, I think uh, there's a player named like Mint, um, Mint, and then a bunch of numbers after it. But I, I think I know who you're talking about. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, um, let's talk about uh, some top tiers <laughs> instead of the bottom tier. We got uh, memes and Escalante playing, and this is what like you're gonna see peak Marvel. It's like you know zero, and then you know fireballs on screen. This, this is really what's gonna be. Yeah, I'll be right back again. Um, MC Sugar just gave me a bunch of food, so <laughs> I uh, should. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take care of it for you. Appreciate it. Be back in a bit. All right, we got this guy on the mic. Get him off the mic. No, it ain't gonna happen. Uh, <laughs> all right, so let's go back to this this game here. All right, uh, I think you try to go for a left right here after that uh, the throw, and then I guess the round trip came back before you can get behind him. Well, we get to hit a Morgan here, and then just, if it doesn't fall off here, I see like, like I, I never know when those combos will drop, because I know it's very weird on some some characters. Like I said, I'm not a virtual player. I don't know how the heck that character works with those uh, with those moves. Even though it seems very easy, you need just X factory press buttons and things happen. But that that loop requires like some character knowledge, and then we're gonna DC out. And he's gonna X-Factor because probably could have got punished for that. And they get to by missiles, but didn't convert off it. Alright, oh one more hit. Okay, raw tags in to save Virgil. Gets gets a four H foot dive and then doesn't convert off that either. Just to get him off me. And then gets him to crouch low. There we go. We got extended combo with the missiles coming down. There we go, and then we get deep C. Do we need it? No, we don't need it. There right, comes that Virgil he saved earlier. Let's see if it's going to pay off for him. Full strategy, Cotton. Oh, X Factor's out. Tries to uh, get something going here with the uh, X Factor cancel. He's going to wall jump. She can guard all this. Oh, okay. He tried to go for a scoop pitch right there. Double scoop. Gets hit on Doom. He's going to kill him. He's still an X Factor. So he got a lot of hits in. Oh, okay. Yeah, a couple last few hits got the kill there. Now we got a neutral battle, but there's not enough time for this. Like this is this is pretty much over. Yeah, just gonna hide. Was it high tide? Something like that. I wish I knew the name of every move. Then I have to say, what the heck is that? All right. So like I said, this is gonna be your neutral for a, a good. I don't want to say like 10 Marvel, 10 to 15 Marvel seconds. Until a hit happens. There we go. See? I called it. <laughs> it was about 10 seconds. You know, typical zero corner combo. S, that's S. Now we go to loops. It's the kill. Still got a little bit of time. No, nope, no time to set up something. Gets the left, right. Blocks the left, right. Oh, but the missile screwed up the combo. It's a double sword about using missiles. Alright, get some chippage in. Eats that magnetic blast. Or not magnetic blast, sorry. Disruptor. He's gonna deep zoom out. Still gets a hit with the shockwave. Make his zero live on a little bit of life, but he tags him out to Virgil. Put on the Gucci belt. It's gonna. Uh, what, what's that meme? Uh, son of a bot, I control the neutral. I'm sorry. I, I mean, my memes are a little. Off point today. Alright, controlling more neutral with some round trips. There you go, now he's gonna teleport. No, no, he didn't get the teleport in time. It, <laughs> that dimension cut, like, that just beats projectiles so easy. It's, it's really good. Okay, okay, okay. We got an X Factor Divation. Oh! That was just like. Oh, that was like really, I don't want to make fun of him, but that was a slow reaction on that grab, but then again, I have the worst reactions in this game. Oh, it blocks it up down, gets the throw. Now it's down to Doomkin's combo, it's going to kill him. 
Just one meter. But probably doesn't even need it, is he? Yeah, this is Doom we're talking about here. Alright, we're gonna get a meaty mix up here. Oh, blocked it! I, I, I got hit. I got hit. There's no way in hell I was blocking that. But we did get activation for memes. Let's see what he's gonna do here. It's just a Doom on Doom, but we got a zero in the back. You can DC to get the Sogenmu. Oh no, he did the wrong super. Unless he was intentionally trying to do that. But again, we don't know. But he gets the hit on the assist. He can't kill Doom if he keeps calling him out like that. And that will be very beneficial, especially because we're at low time and we got the hit. Oh no, what? What happened? No, you missed the. Oh no. You missed the normals. Blade reaction or something. But oh, okay. Gets a super out. This is, oh my god, this is the cover loaded into him. Oh my god. That sucks. Escalante had meter too. Easily could have like just blamed him out too. But now we're up two to zero. Memes may cry. Gets a lot of hits on that Doom there. And it gets a hit. It, only, it took less than ten Marvel seconds this time. It's speeding the theme it's speeding this whole tournament up, man. Gonna finish this plate here. This is very good if he kills Morgan. And oh, <laughs> the last hit. It's always the last hit. It's like I I got it. I just gotta do one last thing, and then combo drops. I have that that problem. We got next factor activation. Oh, the the the, uh, the clone hit uh, Anita in the back of the head. Oh, what? <laughs> I'm done. I don't want to do this. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Me. Yeah, we got loser semis. Jason Kittle with 57 MS versus Haim Nasty with a six six uh, six. Holy moly, six MS. <laughs> oh man. Sorry about that, guys. You guys didn't know I have a slight stuttering problem. But, um, I think I need to do more commentary to get over it. Or just deal with it. I hope you guys have been enjoying the stream thus far. <coughs> hey, hey. Hi, hi, Will. Thanks by for singular, on. By singular demand, I am here to commentate on this match. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't have to if you didn't want to, but I do really appreciate you hopping on too. But yeah, how have you yeah, been? Yeah, it's fun. Good, you know, uh, not as not as good as this match about to go on right now. Yeah, we I got, am uh, nasty. You know, this is his third week in a row um, entering X Factory. He's been doing pretty well, but this is the farthest he's gotten um, mm -hmm. these past three weeks. So excited to see like what he's bringing to the table. He's uh, I, I see his Iron Man is um getting getting molly walked right now. Well, I'm surprised because like typically uh, Captain America fares pretty well against Storm. So that was a that was a really interesting point war scenario that played out. Uh, oh, but gets the level three, but that whiff because you started from behind, so you were higher up than usual. That's actually uh, the third time that he's done repulsor into level three, and is completely whiffed tonight, which is <laughs> very unfortunate for Haim Nasty. Yeah, it's like when you play Iron Man, you 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 always assume that a certain timing in a way with that uh, situation, but like because it hit from behind, there was going to be more travel time, and they were going to pop up a little bit higher than usual, so uh, he would have gotten that level 3 if he just waited a little bit. But, and, you know, it, it happens. Sometimes we're just like, we go into our zone when we're in the middle of a combo, so we don't make those uh, in-match situation adjustments when the combo is a little bit different than usual. Yeah, conversions. Sense. Conversions are just as important as combos, guys. Goes and... The incoming. Okay. Oh, yeah. wow, raw snap. That dorm incoming actually OS's like multiple situations because if you do MS and they get hit by it, then they fall into the flame carpet even after the teleport and then it'll juggle them so that he'll get the combo regardless. If he doesn't push oh, block see. and he teleports, it crosses up and hits low because the fire hits low. And uh, the only way that he could have gotten out, which is the way he got out earlier, was by push blocking uh, and then dashing away. Luckily he has an air dash character. If it was like on Virgil or something like that, there's no escape except to just super. Ooh, but he screws up his combo and gets overheaded by it. Now he's gonna get the extension off of this a low. Oh, I guess he went X Factor anyways. Yeah, he didn't have to do that, but I guess it's just better 
to guarantee the kill than try to risk a level 3, level 1 scenario. Yeah, I think he just wants as much momentum on his side as possible, which he is getting right now with that meaty incoming. Very nice. That's a dead mm -hmm. Mutu. Plus, uh, having Kiddo also use his X-Factor, I guess, allows him a little leeway when using his own. Oh, but see, then... That's a little scary right there. Alright, level 3 for his troubles. Now, what's the incoming gonna be like? This is, uh, Magneto, not the greatest solo incomer, but he, he just wins oh. neutral <laughs> The cross under uh, raw launch, very nice. And that was a pretty good against Iron Man specifically because Iron Man doesn't really have any good like hit behind and under him buttons um, coming in. The only thing he could have done is just like dash down light, which is like you have to make a hard read to know that that's gonna hit, you know, because you're not you're assuming that he's not gonna just meet you right off the bat. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a very um specific incoming. Mm. Ooh. He gets that, not gonna cash out because he doesn't have a good DHC to DHC into. That's a thing about playing Dorm as first and Hagar in second. You kinda have to like hit them in the corner to get that combo DHC. Uh, I don't know if you saw that, but Hyam Nasty was just did the bravest things I've, I've seen in a while where he just raw snaps and walked right into <laughs> chasing Kiddo's <laughs> face for just just to catch like a, a combo right. <laughs> that was a dead yeah. super scroll. Hey, sometimes that surprise factor works out. Ooh, He's actually done that a couple times too tonight. Those those things kind of I mean that, that everyone has like a tactic that would like throw somebody off like kind of like that. It's just like how Kyle P starts a match with 99 second bionic arm, you know, yeah, it's player specific. Ooh, and see that's what I'm talking about. You get like the crossover regardless of what happens. Um that time I think it was because uh Kiro delayed it slightly. Uh Allowing Iron Man to fall a little more to the ground, which means that his uh, flight threshold has been reached and he couldn't fly afterwards, so he had to take that cross up mix up. He could have gotten out of it if he just dashed up immediately. No. Uh, uh, mix up, which allowed you, yeah, basically. And who do we have next here? So next we've got a TNS Classic. We've got Jason Kittle versus Escalante. Ooh. I think it's the first time they've both gone this far into the bracket where they're actually playing each other, you know, for top three right now. So excited to see where this goes in um, a West Coast NorCal setting. I expect to see Pile Drivers, Izuna Drops, and Toho. Oh, he's starting Mag Okay, yeah, that, that's, that's a good choice. Starting Magneto. Magneto has a lot of mobility options, which makes it very easy to... Uh, well, not very easy, but better than most to get out of a lot of the Morgan's like fireball pattern situations. And especially since um, single Morgan fireball, like non-astral Morgan, actually doesn't do very well against Magneto in, in a one-on-one, -on -one, mm -hmm. generally. Um, Jason Kiddo is going a little more than what Magneto... Sh normally should in this type of matchup, but that's okay because it's just a playstyle difference. Looks like he's getting rewarded for his efforts though. Um, taking out the Morgan. Very, very nice. Okay, go yep. to um, Sphere Flame. Or not Sphere Flame, flame. Uh, 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 Stalking Flare, yeah, yeah. Yep, pseudo unblockable. Yeah. He got out with X Factor. There are other ways to get out, but that's just like a safer route because you don't want to like risk push blocking wrong. I say pseudo unblockable because depending on how you push block, you can actually uh, change it into an auto block instead of a true high low mix up. Um, oh, Ooh, and he dashes up. The TC infinite, okay? Or not? No, no, not the TC infinite, just some. Um, yeah, too high. Combo. It's good, you know, two bars. It's worth it. Plus, nobody has X Factor anymore, so it's just literally doom. Um, he can't bring Dormammu in for the bad matchup. So he's gonna have to stick this one out. I had a feeling Escalante <laughs> was gonna hit something coming in. The thing is, because like Hagar players typically go for uh, non-respect, uh, respect, respect-based mix-ups, um, just because as a like a first-time test kind of thing, like they expect you to respect them. But like in that scenario, Jason Kiddo had no reason to go for a respect-based mix-up because he was at such an advantage. It's just better to keep it safe than then try to do something like that and risk losing your entire team to a Doom comeback. Uh, yeah, because neither of them had X-Factor. Honestly, going for a meaty is just a better option in general because you know it doesn't really matter if they actually blocked the meaty because they were at such a disadvantage anyways. So, oh, wow. Uh, Jason Kittle was such a good air to air confirm, but um, nice break from Escalante. Now he's going to be able to set up Astral. Going to be able ooh. to get his game off a little bit, but uh, yeah, the lockdown. Oh, wow. Talking player disappeared because of the um the soul fist. Mm-hmm. 
One managed to escape. One always manages to escape. That's a team. That's the, that's the ter that's the scary thing about a more Doom team. There's always yeah. like a, a Tyrone. There's always something. <laughs> yeah, the Tyrone missile or or extra Sophis. It's always just like lurking projectiles everywhere. Tried to escape and actually managed to use the hard knockdown from the from the drop kick to delay the timing and uh, continue the combo off of the missiles. And does a TAC. Um, wow, I can't believe he, he, he didn't break any of those. Yeah, and Jason Kittle's been getting a lot of mileage off of the stray missile hits. Um, if you if you see how his movement is actually really really smart when he sees them when he knows the missiles are coming because um, he's he's always able to extend his combos. Mm hmm. Now I don't know if it was the right decision that he decided to go for stocking flare and just instead of just straight up like killing Magneto earlier, because like arguably like Magneto and Morgan are like his two are Escalante's. I mean not arguably, but it's like his two best characters, right? Mm -hmm. And it, it's not necessary. I know Morgan's his best character, but she only had half health against a Dormammu with like full spell stock. It doesn't seem like he would have been in that much of a disadvantage if he had just killed Magneto. And not because of that, like he's killing in an order that's ne not necessarily the greatest, because you're leaving his two strongest characters uh, at the end with an X Factor potential comeback scenario. So yeah, you kill Doom now, but like it could have been Magneto. But you know, he's uh, making me eat my words, killing Magneto. Anyways, <laughs> um, I, I think I like the 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 Doom kill though because um, there's there's not a lot um, of safety net anymore with the missiles. So he's going to huh. have to play a lot more conservatively, and just just pick his spots, uh, kind of like that where he called um you know assist and then just getting knights by Jason Kiddo wasn't the best best idea. But um, <laughs> like you said before, he's getting a level three comeback with Morgan right now. Yeah, it would have been a doom comeback, and plus uh it was a lot of, it was a little bit of like flop from both sides. But like in that scenario, Morgan actually got hit by the stocking flare, so he could have just like killed her straight up earlier, but he didn't anticipate that she would get hit. Um, not sure if Jason Kittle realizes that Morgan has a ton of recovery on her Astral Vision. Oh my goodness. That because, good like, area. Morgan does not have, like, a one-frame recovery. I think it's, like, ten frames of recovery post-flash on her uh, Astral Vision. So that stocking flare would have hit at how close it was to her earlier. It's kind of like Fire Firebrand's, like, uh, install super. They're not instant. So being aware of that. Yeah, Jason Kittle, um with these air to air confirms. 57 mm. MS air to air confirms, very nice. Good adaptability nice. to the normal Dang. hell servers. Dang, they playing they play an entire second behind, huh? Where, 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 where? <laughs> um, I think 57 milliseconds is like three and a half frames, and uh, like 70 is is um, about four and a half frames. That they're playing into the future right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every single one of their buns is slightly telegraphed, so these players really, really have to think about what they're doing. Yeah, and we're we're just commentators of the past right now. We are literally commentating a different timeline. Right, throwing out the stocking flare. Yep. Throwing out the stocking flare. Ooh, I got hard tag. Oh, almost caught him with the low. Really hard to catch because there's no uh, jump squat frames the same way they are with uh, other types of games in this one. So when people jump, they get up immediately. Ooh, ooh. Got the hoo hoo chairs out in full force right now. And I think uh, Escalante is just opting to use the Ryan LB style strategy, calling Morrigan, running away, building meter so that he could DHC back into Morrigan instead of a. Uh... Yep, and I think that's why Kittle hard tagged because he knew that he's gonna end up having to fight Morrigan soon. Mm -hmm. But he didn't uh, call Hagar assist there. Uh, Might have just been. You know, he, he thought he could end up blocking it. Oh, nice awareness on Escalante. Oh, oh and he just decided to hard tag? That that was really that was really really good awareness from um, Jason Kiddo's side too. Just picking and choosing his spot right in between the caps just to get um Dormammu to safety. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's just letting oh, Hagar no, tank. Hagar, yeah. And taking all these fireballs. It's the most sacrificial uh, sacrificable character, so I guess he wow, didn't really right in between the gaps again. And it worked out. So yeah, I doing this. Through, uh, through Miracle and Friendship. Oh, oh my goodness, the Sack Tap special. Okay. The fact that that comboed into Pipe is just... I didn't even know that worked. And he, he went for 
But Escalante learned from his last time. He's like, I'm not gonna fall for your meaty tactics again. But this time he actually didn't go for a meaty, but he 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 technically went for something that would have stopped anything anyways. Mm -hmm. So even though it wasn't a true meaty lariat, it was a uh, it was just like, what are you gonna do against a lariat? He could super here. Ah, uh, no, Escalante chooses not to. Yeah, he's trying to get in right now. Oh, and and there it is. <laughs> he did, did not want to fight a losing battle. Well, the thing is, he could have actually won that because when he activated that stocking flare, it was at a distance where where the raw finger. Yeah, he usually was. plays um character uh, character Doom Virgil. His usual team is a uh, Nova, so oh, looks like he's going with uh, Morgan for the matchup. Hmm. Morgan playing against Magneto. It's it's pretty much the exact same scenario twice it's, <laughs> as the last match. Yeah. Except this time, Memes has the power up of 25 MS, so it's a much different game <laughs> meme play. It's like, you only saw my first form, now I have the 25 less MS form, ready to stop you. And he's he's motivated too, so... Yeah, oh! Almost, almost DP'd straight into death, but uh, wasn't there to punish in time. Oh I... wow, there's the pipe! Nah, he wasn't gonna be able to get that, because he caught the Dark Hole a little too early. The mayor doesn't discriminate. Oh, did that actually miss? All these okay, okay. That it, it looked like it almost missed for a sec. And fake unblockable. Yep. Could have could have auto blocked that if depending if you push block correctly, but uh, did not. And so he got hit by a low, then got hit by a high. That was not an unblockable. This is this is looking looking pretty rough for uh, Means Bay Cry right now. Nice tech. Ooh. Oh, well, falls right into the, the flame carpet. Yeah, so if he had tech that and just landed on the flame carpet, blocked low, and then push blocked the fire, he would have been in a situation where he would have been airborne while push blocking the fire. So it wouldn't have created any uh, mix up for Hagar. But uh, instead, he uh, got wasted. Oh, we, are, we get the Astro out immediately. Different strat than uh, different players, different strats. Because normally you don't just see like Morgan go immediate Astral, they usually, they usually try to set it up in a good spot because it's kind of risky to do that, but yeah, it means no, Jason Kittle's just going to stay back, I'm just going to Astral immediately. And we're going to go into, yep, a punish right here, it's going to oh, get... Bar barely survives, okay, there's the chip. Mm -hmm. Setting up the flame carpet once again, tries to go for the media yep. setup. Yeah, it was he he did the flame carpet a little too late, so it was just a free dash out for Doom right there. Yeah, he's also a little bit too far from the corner, so I don't think he, even if he put the flame carpet a little earlier, I don't think he would have um, hit yeah. him median time. And then uh, memes uh, may cry try to do a butter gun Virgil like setup earlier and actually got the hit, but he did jab into hard kick, which actually has a smaller hitbox than jab into launch, which is something that you should probably do because. That's why F Champ always does launch instead. He doesn't go for hard kick because of the hitbox. Yeah. Also, nice chase down from Mies May Cry, uh, catching catching Jason Kittle on his charge up animations. Going Ooh. to be a dead Dormammu. Very nice. I've never seen that missile into rapid slash then hard kick. That's a pretty interesting combo, actually. Yeah. I don't know if it's actually like hits. It still gets affected by hit stun because a lot of Virgil like extensions get affected by hit stun, which is why they usually cut it early. Oh my gosh, he crosses, crosses himself up, yeah. Oh, oh no. God. You're playing 5D chess against yourself. <laughs> oh, tries to go for the meeting cross-up. Cross Dang. And sacked up in, just into the pipe. The oh, violence yeah. on this man. You just jump up, headbutting, throwing pipes down. <laughs> no mercy. Like, if you ever think about, like, raw violence tier list, like, yeah, like Hagar's probably up there with how, how, like, devastating his moves look when he hits you. Literally takes out a lead pipe and decks you in the head, so yeah, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Like, think about the way he grabs you, like, he just, like, like headbutts you until you, like, like go unconscious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As you do the floor. <laughs> Some characters have grace, you know, when they kill you, but no, not Hagar, he just... Alright, and it looks like uh, Mewtwo and Cry is going with the zero this time. Yep. The ultimate X armor too looks so sick. <laughs> yeah. Need to change the portraits. Actually, have the portraits done. I just ha didn't update this um uh this this server yet, so probably do that oh. after. Firing fireballs. 
All right, gets the hit. Magneto to, uh, traditionally um, has like an unfavorable matchup against Zero. Mm -hmm. it's, it is one that he struggles more than uh, most other top tier oh. battle. I think it's like 6-4 against Magneto's favor. Uh, even though Magneto has the movement, a lot of his option options get stuffed out by Buster. And we're gonna go into the... Oh, as I say, Koopa, thank you, commentator. Oh, is it X's fourth armor? I've been hearing uh, people call it um, X's ultimate armor, so that's what I've just been referring to it as, too. Oh, okay, he tried to make a hard read there with that Lariat. Uh, he's probably gonna get Buster. Oh, that's not... You should have known! You should have kept track of the meter! He was going to do that! <laughs> Remy Martin coming in the chat saying Magneto has unfavorable matchups against most top tier characters. I mean, mm. it, that's, that's true, but he, he can definitely fight a lot of them, so... I, I would say, say that... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say I, it's I unfavorable. I, I, I'd say it's 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 more, uh... I, I guess it's just it's just more, like, depending on the player, too. Well, it is it is unfavorable for the most part, but he is one of the characters that has the most options for, for playing really clean. It's not like, oh, you just can't win, like, Doom versus Dormammu at a certain yeah. stage. But Magneto loses against Virgil, and Magneto does lose against Zero. Uh, Magneto goes fairly even <laughs> against Morgan, but uh, if Morgan gets Astro started, obviously that's Morgan favored. Uh, but he does have like the mobility to be able to stuff a lot of the stuff that these other top tiers do. If if it's He's unfavorable, just... it's it's very the the <laughs> it's very marginally skewed. So it's, yeah. it's 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 not it's not that like it's it's not a crazy bad matchup, you know. Yeah, it's kind of like more. It's kind of like unfavorable in the sense that Magneto has to try harder. Yeah, <laughs> and that's pretty much it. He does have the option. It's just that he's less. He's likely to get hit more often than not uh, than other top tiers using their options. Like Zero can release Buster, and like three of Magneto's options are shut down: Magnetic Blast, any mid-screen disruptor, plus a uh, uh, flight approach options. Whereas uh, Magneto, like you know, has one counter against Zero's like. 1v1 instead of 3v1 like zero towards Magneto. And we're gonna get, yep, confirm off this. Accounting for the missiles, nice. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit weird, yeah, I was gonna say. Cause you got Sogenma behind and you're doing like such a low to the ground, like, buster release combo like that. Where you're not really oh. sure if it's in the or corner. Happy birthday? Oh no, that's not good. Ooh. Yeah, Jason Kiddo's match point too, so this, this could be the end. Oh my gosh, he read you like a foot. What? He could have just did the other screen and have to do this. See, so, you know, you oh, just gonna chip him out though, yeah. Okay, better make use of this unblockable. Oh, oh, oh the cross up too, oh. but no dice. Drops the combo. Believe. Gotta believe, man. Uh, yeah, well, there's not much you could do here if you just let it. Oh, okay, well, I see. Well, I see. Well, well played. All right, Lock is K. out. Oh, yeah, there it is. That was not a cross up, guys. Yeah, memes, memes has a chance now. Not a cross up because it was in the corner and he teleported super early. Now this may actually be a cross up. Oh, that was very ambiguous. I I think that was still same side. He he teleported right before uh or a little bit after Magneto came out. So, uh, from what yeah. I saw at least. I always thought the I think that the Takumi and like the Joey D style incoming with X3 Virgil is a little bit stronger than the Shady K just because it's been like Shady K's been done so much everyone kind of sees it coming these days. Nice adjustment from Mies May Cry, but drops the combo. Yeah, I think the uh, hit stop from hitting the assist actually screwed up Zero's confirm after the air push block. So that made his uh, light on the ground a little bit slower than it should have been. And he gets Ooh. a missed input. Yeah, I thought he was going to DC there, but um, uh, it's okay too. Zero's still relatively safe, so... Yeah. Not too big of a deal, he didn't get heavily punished for that either. Good that Jason Kittles keep you safe there, because... Uh, Ooh! Oh, nice punish! Good jump of damage. Oh, he's gonna get locked down a little bit. <gasps> oh, a little bit of lag on our side. But that's oh. okay. Players should be fine. Oh, the office tag! No confirm from oh. Jason Kiddo, though. Dang, he is going in on this Doom. He, he does not need to, but he will. Yeah, very because... scrambly right now. Both players trying to trying to get a... Get, get a... Upper... I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Lost my train of thought there. Oh wow! He Tracks actually on the used floor. The... No way! I advocate this spell so much. I, I don't know. I know. I know the spell. Spell is technically trash, but but I love when people use weird spells like this. <laughs> it's trash until it gets it, until you get hit by it. 
Like two spikes, <laughs> for example, with dorm is so good against doom, and people don't use it just because like they're so used to using meteors. And like three blues, well, call me a fan. Oh, yeah. just the meaty on incoming. Okay. Just you know he. Oh no! Don't press buttons. Why? Why? You know what Don Rumble was gonna. You even saw the fire go up and down. Do I run outside and, and punch people in broad daylight <laughs> during a meteor shower? I don't think so. Oh, oh wow, the raw teleport into the <laughs> raw lariat too. Means may cry being a little bit too trigger happy. All those buns. It means they cry really engaged. said, I spent sixty dollars on this game. Uh, I spent sixty dollars on this this controller, I'm gonna press all the buns, you know. <laughs> He's like these buttons are here to be pressed. Yes. Oh 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 yeah. What type of Man. video game are you playing if you're not pressing every single button? <laughs> oh wow. Oh nice confirm from Jason Kittle. That's going to be a reset bracket right now. Yeah. Very nice clean play. Means to cry. Looks like he's doing a bit better with the zero team, so maybe he's gonna opt to stick with it. Um yeah. you saying the scores real quick. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. Uh, so what Sorry, go ahead. So the situ situations that memes is getting hit in is is uh, I think it comes down a lot to chasing during times when he doesn't need to chase. Um, just because by moving forward against Dormammu, his teleport will actually space himself farther away from you because you're moving towards where he was originally. So if he teleports behind you and you're moving forward, you created a full screen situation where you have to chase Dormammu again. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I see that. So you, it's better to just stay half screen away from Dorm at all time and threaten with Buster because Dorm really doesn't have that many options against uh, Buster except to maybe stuff it out with his normals, but that's a hard read that you have to make every single time. Uh, and Zero's like stand H can basically reach half screen anyway, so it's not like Dorm has that many options against his uh, pressure from that distance. And yeah, and obviously respecting Dorm's <laughs> projectiles, like, you see a volcano go up, the next piece of the puzzle is that it goes down. I think he may have been trying to grab during that scenario, but even if you try uh, going for a grab, you can't really combo off of the ground zero throw. So it really isn't worth the investment of potentially getting hit and losing your character. Better to just like chicken block or something like that and just push block uh, a little bit but not too much so you're keeping Dorm at a relatively safe distance away from you while still being close enough to threaten. Alright, this is uh, Grand Finals reset now, both players in the loser's bracket. Winner takes all. Well, uh, yep. winner takes 60%, but... <laughs> 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 Shoutouts to everybody who uh, contributed to the match for Eno tonight. This is uh, the biggest pot we've had in a while, 140-160. That wow. is... Uh, Quite a lot for you know a local turn or um, a uh, a weekly tournament. Noise. Oh wow! Oh. Gets clipped. Yeah, I, um, I don't think Jason Kittle was actually expecting that to hit, so he wasn't ready yeah. for the follow up there. Oh yeah. nice! But zero still exploded in the end. And I yeah, the kill, free kill. Why? Good busy thing. KZ has big pot. I'm gonna need big pot like in uh, about two weeks when I get my wisdom piece taken off out too. So, so That's I gonna know. Be fun. Oof! I remember my wisdom teeth. Oh yikes! Extraction. <laughs> Apparently, I had one that where it was like there was it was like uh, my wisdom teeth were like what do you call it? Interrupting each other and basically oh, it became yeah. extra, extra I, hard to pull out. Yeah, my, one of my bottom ones is completely sideways, so they're like, we have to get it out as soon as possible before any nerve damage. Anyways, yeah. um, this is some nerve damage right here to Magneto. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna die right now. And we got typical. Oh, oh you lost your X Factor. Well, that wasn't the reason. It was because he was in non um, non trigger mode trying to do that, and it's possible, but it's a lot harder. So I it's throw. Yes, teleport Takumi round. Oh no, he didn't go. Takumi's mix-up is that he throws round trip, teleport behind and just goes raw rapid slash. And I think that would have been a good time to use it because it's like you don't wanna have Magneto assist out threatening you. Oh, team super. Very nice. Alright, so memes make I 
Uh, little adjustments, keep track of meter, all he really needs to look out for, stay half distance away, know when to throw out Buster to counteract assist calls, and I think he'll he'll be able to uh, he'll be able to snipe out a lot of uh, Kiddo's options. He doesn't have to really wor worry about Hagar. Memes, why is DXP calling you on Messenger? No coaching, man. <laughs> that shit's whack. <laughs> what the hell? Dang. That's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> Become one with the game. Filter out all sounds around you. Be like Wata. Become Zen. Just yes. like Zen Pool. That's why we're such big big fans of Zen Pool. A pool of Zen. You know, there's actually a comic book storyline where um, Deadpool becomes Zenpool. He becomes like a. Uh, he actually becomes sane. Wait, is that where his name came from? I'm not sure if, if that's where Zenpool's name came from, but uh, <laughs> it might be. Oh, okay. Uh, that, that sounds like an interesting read. Definitely, probably, definitely gonna be better than Barakapool. <laughs> or it's like he's not sane, but he's he's like um, what what is it? Oh, that is where it came from. Oh. Okay. Okay. It, it, he's Ooh. like a. He's more cognitively aware or something. It's it's something weird. <laughs> he became uh, okay. Zen. Okay. Let, let's just keep it at that. He became Zen. Yes. He became an average human being. <laughs> oh, it it turned heroes into villains and villains into heroes. But because Deadpool is like in the gray area, yeah, he just became Zen. That's pretty <laughs> funny, actually. That's interesting. I. Uh... I've heard of weirder Marvel stories, so I think that that uh, no, so I think that was actually relatively normal. He went around preaching peace and meditation instead of using guns and knives. He beat people up with a frozen turkey. <laughs> That's pretty uh, funny. That... Alright, is memes good? Uh, How was that saying though? <laughs> that feels like the opposite of Zen. Well, I, I guess the the part about him preaching peace and meditation. Yeah, while beating people up with a turkey. <laughs> didn't didn't he try to um uh, convince like Apocalypse not to not to kill everybody or something too in that storyline? It, it was something weird. I, I remember like uh reading reading a bit of it and I was just like, what the hell is happening? Oh, I'm gonna have to look into his backstory because his his storylines are freaking me out right now. <laughs> Anyways, oh. let's uh get right back into the match. Oh, means they're probably going with his Nova team this time. Okay. Ooh. Who used to play this team in NorCal again? Ah, there's somebody Nova that played with Doom them. Virgil. Uh, I think I know who you're talking about, but his name's like um, escaping yeah, me know. right now too. Dang, I, uh, he used to play with like the FGTV squad and stuff like that. Well, anyways. Yep. Tech block. Yeah, push block. Yes, yes. Listen. Oh, wow. But he still got hit. He got red, and unfortunately, that's just. It just happens, you know. You gotta adapt to it, change it up next time, super jump and dash down immediately instead. Who <gasps> gets thrown? Anticipate the follow-ups. Now don't helm break at all costs. Oh, oh. the cross cross up. I think that was same oh. side actually, right? Ooh. Oh my uh, god. No, no, uh, actually, you know, that was kind of ambiguous. It might have been because Violet Axe mid screen usually crosses up, but he spaced himself farther than usual, so it's kind of hard to tell. It, it looked like same side, but it, it could have been, yeah, it, it could have been cross up too. Just ambiguous. Just 50 50, that's what it was. Nice. Hey, memes getting the first hit this time. Nice going low right there. Just finish the combo. No, didn't have to be too fancy. Oh no, getting clipped by the Hagger Lariat. Nah, that was just a missed call on the assist timing. Now you can that get looks like this. a small lag spike for Jason Kittle there. A bit unfortunate, but it's okay. Good, good defense for Memes. No, nah, no, nah, Memes has. Oh shoot! I was gonna say Memes has exactly two bars, and Jason has none. The first thing you should do is just raw super with, with rocket punch super. Like, there's really no risk at that point. Because if you have a meter advantage against players and you have a good use of that meter, like like a super that actually does something with that meter, then there's no reason not to use it because if your character dies like you did now, now you have two meters with Doom which is less useful because you're just going to DHC into Virgil for safety but then you lose all that like meter advantage that you had earlier. So, better to have used it with Nova. 
But he gets the hit now, so there's a chance to come back. Uh, he didn't need to do that. Um, yeah, I, I think that double trigger was a little bit weird, but maybe he just wanted to um, ensure... I guess... Yeah, yeah, I like the yeah. idea though, because he gets trigger, trigger Anchor Virgil, which can dash out of the corner if need be. Oh, very nice, okay. Okay, so he... I would suggest that he fights this final battle. Uh, you know what? No, I, I'm okay. Oh. Uh, that, that was a little interesting. Oh, okay, it pays off. Maybe he knows something we don't. <laughs> that was... <I'll... laughs> I, I'm I'd a little I'm... speechless, yeah, yeah. I'm a 50-50 on that decision because I would have normally not wanted Doom on front fighting Dorm, but Dorm is actually struggles a lot when he's like getting cornered by Doom. He just, mm. he does well once he's set up. And if Doom dies, then you have Anchor Virgil, so that, that as a solo matchup is not too bad against Dorm. So I, but he made a decision that I think is like not wrong, it's just like 50-50. Oh, nice right, micro so he, adjustment with the uh, the light combo. TAC? Little little uh oh yeah TAC nice nice. Oh no. Yep, the micro adjustment uh, originally done by Coach Steve I believe. Mm -hmm. That's the Coach Steve version, and he's probably gonna get reset somewhere after these assists hit. Oh, he's not going to. He's going to actually DHC all the way. But it's not going to kill. So what's he going to do? Oh, yeah, see, he has to do that now. So... Oh, wow. Okay, saves Dr. Doom with the X-Factor. Nice defense. Going to be was, able to DHC. To that him. was such <gasps> a good block, but I don't know if it was um, worth saving Doom over. Because sometimes when you have two characters with X, it's just stronger. You know, than yeah, that was such good awareness from uh, Jason Kittle's side to call the lady <gasps> assist on the super too. Why does nobody super when Dorm does a full screen ball? You can do the finger laser super and it goes under. Nobody ever does it. And now you're gonna die because of it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you. Uh, when we used to play a lot of casuals back in the day, you you told me specifically to do that. Like every single time I see, I'm in that situation too. <laughs> so I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, it's like it would have been the easiest interrupt. No, sort up, sort up. Don't let the assist come out. Sort up, and there always go low because of Hagar. If you know Hagar is gonna come out, then always go low. Yeah, you should probably double trick. Okay, there we go. Okay, restore a little bit of health. What is happening? No. <laughs> Uh, Unfortunate teleport into the grab, and Jason Kiddo is going to be your X Factory 2.10 champion. Very nice, clean play. Yes. All yes, the way yes. to grand finals. Uh, Jason Kiddo doesn't enter a lot, but um, you know, whenever he does, is he always puts on a show. Yep. Squeaky clean. Uh, play play the game plan down to the T. Uh, and basically did everything that he could to stop whatever rushdown Nova Zero and uh, Morgan had. Um, I think he just played the matchups well, which is and used the assist that he had at timings that counteracted a lot of the rushdown that Means was using.